And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today we're going to be giving birth to our first colonist. Well, hopefully. We're in the second trimester and assuming everything goes well, this should hopefully be our first little kid that we're going to raise. Now, people have pointed out the, uh, the childcare area is right beside the prison, which seems like a bad idea. And yes, yes it is. But we have made sure that none of the prisoners will be causing any problems. Um, actually, yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of that peg leg just to make sure. That should make sure none of them interfere with the kid. And Downs, well, they were when they were captured, they, they had problems that meant sure that wasn't going to happen. Pregnancy mood, 12 hour collapse. Huh. Okay. Uh, we don't really have to worry about them having any mental breaks or anything like that. And Smokey has reached level 18 intellectual. What the hell? Oh, yeah. That vampire gene is really nice. Gives it plus four. I wonder if they can go above 20. Can people get to 21 now with all of those stacked bonuses? I suppose we'll find out. Right now, I am putting concrete throughout this entire area and flooring it in. In fact, we're probably going to floor through the whole place. Concrete is not the best flooring material. Uh, the problem it has is that it gives like a minus one beauty, as opposed to most other floors give at least plus one. But if you do a large enough area and you've got a few statues, it kind of doesn't really matter. And plus, it's incredibly cheap. It's like one steel to make concrete. Lunk just reached level 10 in construction. I am so glad we gave them that learning enhancer. The learning that uh, learning assistant is definitely helping make them into a proper constructor. Stalker's not doing too bad themselves. They're up to eleven construction. They've just got one passion in it. All right, let's uh, let's finish off some construction here, and I might get them to do a few tasks. I, the, the thing is, we can't hire any more pawns. We're stuck with the five families we've got, and we've just got to breed them up. So we've got to hold out, wait until we get our hands on more breeding. Com components, I suppose, if you want to call them, and uh, expand our family naturally that way. Now, one thing they have made much clearer in this patch is when it comes to gut worms and some of these uh, diseases that require more tend quality. Now, you'll notice down there, third line from the bottom, it says total tend quality 202 of 300%. What this means is when you get a grand total of 300% tend quality on this condition, it goes away. So that means using the best quality medi medicine possible in the best conditions possible will allow you to get rid of this far faster than if you just go with, say, herbal medicine all the time. Herbal medicine max out at 70% 10 quality. So if we used herbal medicine here, we'd have to go through another section of this. So what we've done is we've used, um, well, our highest end medicine we possibly could, the Glitter World stuff. That maxes out, I think, about 120%, but we managed to actually get rid of all of the gut worms right now. Check our prisoner over here, since we have been using just herbal medicine on them, and I think we actually did some normal tens. Their total 10 quality is 113% of 300. They're going to be a little while longer dealing with the gut worms. But just something to note, if you want to get rid of gut worms fast, high quality medicine, hospital bed, all of the bonuses really help stack up to make it go away an awful lot faster. Ooh, opportunity has knocked. And that opportunity came in the shape of an entire taming for Lunk. I think I know exactly what we want to do with this. Uh, under wildlife, there is a bunch of boomalope over here. Uh, I don't know where the rest of them are. Let's check. Yeah, there's also a few over there. What we want to do is find the youngest female and recruit them to our side. Well, uh, one second, I need a mod. One quick install of the numbers mod later, and when we go to wildlife, it looks just a little bit better. It tells us how much each is worth. Like, if you want to see, hey, which animal's got the most meat on its bones, quick way to sort and figure it out. Or leather or whatever you're looking for. But what we're looking for here is age. So, where did we put that? Ah, it's under miscellaneous. All right, so we can grab the age of them here and we can actually see the genders on this side. Actually, let's sort them by that. Okay, so we got all females up the top here and we want the youngest one. Uh, 3.3868 years. Problem is you don't ever want them aging out on you. You want to like retire before your boomalopes die. Okay, you, we want you to get tamed. Warning, Boomlope may attack upon a failed taming attempt. Yes, yes, we are aware of that. Uh, prioritize taming that Boomlope if you wouldn't mind. Lunk, it's a bit of a... Oh, wow, that is a wee bit of a trick. I think we're going to need a new field for them. I don't want to put them into the same field as the cows. I think we're going to come up with a more condensed version here. We're going to have to, like, cram everyone into this area. And I think we're going to expand this out a bit further. But we're going to probably cram everyone into this tiny box area here. And then over here, we'll keep our animals that are going wild. Now, I don't know if we're going to need these cows... I would advise we don't need the milk, but I definitely do want to keep those boomalopes around for chem fuel production, at least for a while. That one boomalope will run two chem fuel generators and would greatly go a long way towards solving our fuel problems. Well, before we could get to the boomalope, it fell asleep, so long cut back to work. And now we're getting an attack by the night vampires. Uh, one thing to note about these, these night vampires raiders, they're not actually vampires. They're, uh, where is it? Yep, they're just pirates, regular pirates. They're 70% baseliners, small percentage of all the other uh, all gene types. So, yeah, not really that worried uh, that about f that fire is going to help us here. Now, where are they actually landing is the question. 
Oh, was there two groups of them? Hmm. You know what? We should probably bring everyone back inside, including all the robots. Yeah, um... You need to draft up and get in here, buddy. Where's the other robots? Let me get everyone together. All right, everyone's heading back inside. Now, the question is, are we going to get some more blood out of this? That's sort of what we want. Ooh, okay, so there's four over there. And then there's another too many over there. Okay, there's seven drop pods there. Oh, in this playthrough, I'm trying to avoid building a kill box. I know we've traditionally gone with kill boxes, but after the last playthrough where we had that singularity one, I think we can give a try to playing this without a kill box, especially since we're only on the normal max difficulty. We haven't actually cranked it up to 500%. So... Yeah, let's see how we can do without going all the way overboard. All right, you guys, I think we'll try maybe take a few of these in the field. Do the other shotgun? No, we've got two bolties, assault, uh, heavy SMG, and lunk. And the question is what they have in terms of weaponry on them. That might be what determines what we do next. All right, you guys, what do you got? Nothing too dangerous there. I'm seeing, what, like a couple of auto pistols? Uh, a little SMG th type thing? Oh, that guy is a hussar. Yeah, go juice dependency doesn't actually look to appear to be on go juice though. All right, any of these are genes. I'll have a quick look through to see if any of them are genetics we'd like to add to our gene pool. But uh, from what I can see so far, oh, it's a nice assault rifle you got there, buddy. Yeah, we'll deal with this crowd secondary. This crowd comes first, and hopefully we can get ourselves a couple of extra blood bags. We were running two vampires, so we need an extra blood bag. I think we have a bit of a plan. We're just gonna line everyone up over here, and we're gonna shoot this crowd as they come in. Now, there is one pawn we are very interested in here. Is it Spud? Nope, they're a baseliner. Ah, Zow Zowly, whatever. They're a Neanderthal. They would be a breeding partner for one of our people because we need to have a Neanderthal, uh, well, Neanderthals, dirt moles, all sorts of randomers and stalker type t types, all that ones. And uh, there's another one over here. Where are they? Uh, dirt mole. Yeah, there's a dirt mole in here. So we would like this male dirt mole and we'd like the female neanderthal those would both help us out greatly as well as that they could be useful as blood donors because well we, we are running two vampires and right now we're eating through our old supply of hemogen and we're going to need to beef that up a little bit all right you can hide in there the plan's very simple we want to knock zowly out i think we use shock lances for this it might be a good idea hmm like we do want two of them, and I'm pretty sure we have two shock lances in play. Yeah, there's one shock lance, and there's another. Yeah, you've got one charge, you've got one charge, and you've only got an insanity lance. Oof, we're burning through our one-use items a lot, but I kind of want them. And this would greatly help speed up our uh, increased amount of people. Ooh, there's a blood bag. That one's going to bleed out in 14 hours, and uh, they're a normal... Yeah, that's perfect. You will be an excellent addition. Yeah, I can just keep an eye up in the top left and for or top right for the uh, the people trying to gain get, gain distance on us or gain close to us. Uh, you Gizmo, I think Gizmo's got to go down. Come on Gizmo, there, yeah, and whackity whack. Damn it, Kyle. Yeah, that's fine. Kyle's having fun. That's all that really counts. And now I think it's time we did a shock lance. Yeah. And Spud should... Perfect. Now, Spud, what are you? You're a baseliner. We would like to capture you alive if possible, but if not... Well, say la vie. Lunk, uh, capture Zhao Li. I want them in prison as soon as possible. No immediate danger. Kyle, you've got... You're bleeding out in two hours, damn it. Oh my god, Ida got back up again? How? Oh, damn it. Okay, so should we grab Kyle? Damn it, I feel like we should kind of... Ah, uh, actually, no. Kyle's a hussar. They require go juice, so we wouldn't be even able to use them as a blood bag. They'd be terrible, because they'd want go juice all the time. Oh, that's a nice addition. Like, anyone who's got built-in whole drug dependencies, you can't actually use them as, uh, as blood donors. It's just impossible, because you have to keep feeding them their drug, otherwise they'd, they'd become useless to you. Okay, you are going to bring them to the prison... It's also the direction everyone else is coming from. It's fine. You'll, you'll, you'll figure that out. Uh, Spud. Yeah, you can go down. Perfect. Uh, should we have stripped Kyle, actually? What's your gear like? I, I don't care. That's terrible. Oh, my God. Everything you have is tattered. Okay, then. That, an alpaca wool sash? I really have to check out all the new clothing they introduced. All right. You are all going to come here, I think. Yeah, I kind of want them to have to come across the water or come the long way around. That should buy us some time. 
most of these, the majority of these are all close combat weaponry, and those that are not, I think there's only one that has an assault rifle. All the rest are all using close combat weaponry or, like, you know, little those little machine pistol things. The ones that have terrible range. Okay, Lunk. That's a little bit too risky, buddy. You know what? I think the, sh the psychic shock will last long enough that we don't have to worry too much. We'll keep Link Lunk over here ready to deal with anyone who gets too close. While everyone else gets in their shooting experience. Oh my god. Poor Babby over there. They are not going to make it too close. Though I assume they're on Goju, so they yeah, that's the only way they were still standing after that when he hits. Um, Lunk, I think you're going to be going straight for that shotgunner. Yeah. You wouldn't mind. Now, I'm going to need all of you to attack Sky over there. Lunk's going to take care of the shotgunner. Lunk? Legend. All right, where is the dirt mole? Yep, you're the dirt mole. Where do we put that other shock lance? Perfect. You can take care of that. And then we've got a Barry coming in from the right and an Owen. Oh, 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 oh. You take Barry. Everyone else can shoot Sky. What the? How did you just run past? Oh, yeah, you're a Hussar, aren't you? Oop, everyone. No. Back away. You. Back, back away. Muppets. Uh, so. Oh. Damn it. We wanted that one alive. Well, I suppose technically it's only a bit of brain damage. Yeah, I've had worse. Eh, uh, that's another one down. Owen. Someone want to kill that guy? They seem to be really, like, able to ignore Lunk and just run past him, which is a bad idea. Their melee skill is at 7, going on 8, and they're about to become even more nasty. Stalker, how you doing? And uh, nothing too serious, and crack to the jaw. Okay, everyone's fine. We need to get our prisoners into storage as soon as possible. Hey, Kyle, you are about to bleed out in one hour, and Ida, 12 hours to bleed out, but your moving speed is 0 0.83. You're going to collapse before you get off the edge of the map. I think, I think you're going to be ours. We might actually try something here. Look, how's your health looking? You are... Yep, you're grand. Smokey, you are completely healthy as well. But what we can do here is do a little bit of a quick blood drain to... Uh, oh, well, not quick blood drain. We can do this thing. Where is it? Coagulate. That should help people survive longer. So I think we go over there. We get Kyle and coagulate them. And one second. Lunk, you should capture Zhao Li. Uh, the three stalkery people, you can keep shooting at Owen. If you could get him dead, that would probably be nice. I'm going to go strip and capture everyone I can. Uh, joy of joys, we managed to down Owen as well. They are a baseliner. That's good for us. And Smokey here is about to hit out Kyle. Kyle is going to be bleeding out in one hour. What we're going to do is we're going to use coagulate on them. It's one of those special abilities you get. It costs 20 hemogen, which is a lot. But now Kyle is completely like no more bleeding at all bandage quality 58 percent bandage quality 80 yeah, i'm curious about the quality here all the wounds are tended so does it is it based on the tend quality of the pawn must be you know what capture kyle there if it might actually you know undraft and then capture kyle leave ida alone ida's slowly gonna try and run off the map if they make it great if they don't they don't and someone maybe want to get that pawn before they they die we we really 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 want them perfect Excellent. And, oh, even dropped some nice goodies. All right, let me get the mess cleaned up and see where we stand. We have successfully managed to tame that boomalope eventually. It was a little bit slow. We got distracted by some pirates, but that is fine. All right, we will... I think I'm going to make a little separate section here for the boomalopes, just because, you know, they're explosive and I'd like to keep them away from all the explosive -y stuff. But you get 11 chem fuel a day out of them, and that should be enough to run two and a half chem fuel generators, so I'm thinking that can take over from all the wood we're burning. We kind of have harvested an awful lot of the trees in the local neighborhood, and I would like to have something a little bit more sustainable. Oh, microelectronics. Finally, this gives us access to the Orbital Comms console and, where is it, Orbital Trade Beacons, Excent, and the High Tech Research Bench. All things we want. Um, Excent, though, what did I want next? I think growth vats would simplify our child production needs quite a bit. So I'd like to get that. It does require some research, high-tech research benches. It will be a bit of time before we get those, so let's go back and backfill harps. A little bit of music recreation would go a long way towards helping everyone's mood, and you're going to need to get that at some point or another. 
In the meantime, though, we are going to start putting in some fancy benches. Now, the problem with this, though, hmm, we need to be careful. High-tech research benches can't be moved, last I checked. The moment harp is finished, though, we are going to make our lives easier by going straight down here and grabbing ourselves some growth vats. That means we don't have to use any of this, you know, surrogate mother stuff that is sort of mildly uncomfortable. And we should be able to expand our population just that little bit faster, assuming we get the right raids hitting us. Now, we're going to need some money, though, because we're running out of components. We're down to 10 components. It costs 10 components just to make one of these steel high-tech research benches. We need a lot more components. So I'm thinking, where are you? Uh, Stalker here is going to start doing some crafting. They're normally our construction guy, but I think our construction is done for a while. Oh, wait, no. We need to put in some place for the boom up. What are we at on population here? Actually, fine on nutrition consumption. You can see down here how much nutrition we're growing and how much it's costing us. Unless we actually have to put in solar panels there. But uh, that only happens if a toxic fallout hits. And I prefer to stretch ourselves as much as we possibly can before we start worrying too much more about that. All right. And on the dye front, I think we can get rid of this. Um, yeah, doesn't matter. We'll wall this whole section off. There we go. And we can probably use this as just a second field for grazing our animals. Oh, when we start uh, introducing power over here, it's going to cut down on the grazing space, so it might be necessary. Eh, next up should be birth time. We're in the third trimester. We've got a warning there a while ago. Where is it? Uh, Dan's baby prep. So we had six days when this came in. I'm not actually sure how long ago that was. Uh, it's not dated. I'm sure we could go back and look it up. Doesn't matter. We got an animal plague. We uh, fixed up the bull. There was a few failed surgeries. We were putting peg legs on people and some of them just messed up. Don't ask me why. It just uh, a huge run of bad luck there. Let's hope that bad luck does not extend to, extend to the birth. We were running a bit short on meat, so we uh, we picked up a few mega slots. There's three of them on the map, so we're now swimming in meat again. That should take care of food for the foreseeable future. I usually like to keep about 50 meals on hand, but, uh, well, sorry, 60. So that should sort us out. Uh, Chewbacca, you might want to get on that cooking spree, buddy. Let's see, what are we at here? Cleanliness is minus 8, minus... 0.84. That's actually a bit dirty, so we don't want to get her to cleaning the place up. And why are you guys throwing up in there constantly? One of, oh, one of you has gut worms, and I think... Oh, no. Gut worms are pretty much gone, are they? Oh, come on. Seriously? Yeah, one more 10 should get rid of that. Uh, we had a trade caravan from the shaman people. It wasn't worth anything. Quest. The secret screen. Okay. Ancient terminal contains information. You can visit on the pretense of worship and then run away. Yeah, I remember those. Uh, actually see where that is uh yeah blah 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 blah, blah. yeah well like, well except for info uh where are you jump to worshipful village you're close by you're on a, a trade route we can go over and have a look hmm i think lunk could do it even just on their lonesome oh there are some good recruitable people there maybe we should send a few people and just you know bring back some more actually we don't need any more blood bags do we I think we're good for the moment. Uh, we've already extracted the egg from whatever their name is here, the Neanderthal. So I say we combine that with Chewbacca to get a half Chewbacca, half Lunk, half breed, and see what they're like. Though I want to wait until we've researched growth fats. Once we get growth fats, should be a hell of a lot quicker. Well, that's the theory. Oh, mad boomalope. Well, that's not the worst. It's just a case of I need to be super careful. I think it gets too close to someone and it's attacking Lunk. Where is Lunk? Lunk is out and about doing what? Medicating that steel sarcophagus. Dear Lord, what is with you guys? Uh, it's just... Lunk and Smokey, they want to keep meditating at all of these sarcophaguses that are scattered around the map. The thing is, I don't want them medicating at those. I want them meditating at the tree. Uh, yeah, give me a second while I change a bunch of zones. We'll just get all our shooters out front, and they can riddle it full of bullets. We should be able to kill it before it gets close enough to do any real damage. Preferably over here somewhere as well, where the fire won't spread too far. Come on. There you go. Hey, I'm not taking any chances like I did with that boom rat. That boom rat singed us far too much. Perfect. And that should also give us a bunch of food for the fridge. Which reminds me, Smokey, you can get out of here. You're uh, currently not very happy with fire. We're going to go put this out and capture that meat. We have started mining out some of the steel over here. We're going to need that for where we're going. Uh, at the same time... Smokey, where are you going? Cleaning dirt. Yeah, never mind. Uh, at the same time, some yaks have joined us. Um, well, that's good. Actually, no, better idea. Let's make a sleeping, an animal sleeping spot over here to draw them closer. Uh, give me... Ah, there we go. 
animal sleeping spot. We'll get a couple of them right there, three or four. This means the uh, the wild animals out there, even though they're not tameable, or sorry, that's the wrong word. Even though they're penable animals, meaning they have to be kept in a pen or they'll run away. Instead, what they'll do is when it comes nighttime, they'll wander over here to grab their nap. And when they do, we kill them. It just means we don't have to run across the map to grab them. One of those little tricks. Uh, at the same time, we're getting the steel in. Excellent. And seriously, when are you going to drop that baby? It feels like that baby's been inside you for bloody ages. Just, just hurry up already. And here it comes now. Come on, buddy. Come on. That is more than close enough. Someone will be out to service you shortly. All right. Uh, next up, I'm thinking Earth. To help out with money, we've started mass crafting dusters. Uh, they're not the most cost efficient, but we do actually have a use for the duster. Smokey's put on one and is now wearing a pigskin duster, which I think is... Is that okay? Like, are they allowed to wear pigskin dusters? Um, I just feel like that's a little bit too on the nose, if you know what I mean. Eh, uh, we'll see. Growth vats completed. No more having to mess around with surrogates anymore. Oh, that feels good. Alright, I think we're going to need death rest though next. Uh, a couple of our vamps are going to be coming up on sleepy sleepy time. And I think these are much faster, so we'll grab a few of those. We need components. Mm. Normally I'd send Smokey out to do the trading, but we can't right now. We're waiting for this. Uh, they're our best doctor. And Downs is due to give birth any day now. Uh, let me check the messaging system actually. Messages. Uh, Downs baby prep was on the 13th. Wait. Yeah, six days. 13th of the... Si Ow. Oh, okay, so it's four, four Yeah, this this should be it. Any time now, this should this birth should be happening. Uh, why am I so impatient? I have no idea. I just we can relax, we can wait. Finally, Down's in labor. She's going to have contractions for a few hours before delivering the baby. The labor may go through several stages and of different levels of difficulty and danger to improve the baby's chances. Gather a doctor and others to help with the birth. Select Down's and press gather for birth to start the procedure. Okay, uh gather for birth. Right, so doctor's going to be Damon. Yep, spectators. What? Why do you want spectators? That feels weird. Expected duration until the baby is born. Outcome chances at 77% quality. Well, that's not very good. Okay, so what happens if... Who's the actual parents of this baby again? I want to say Smokey? They're like... That actually has no effect. Just like... Not even a little bit. Uh, Lunk? No. Like... Yeah, if we put everyone in here, it makes no difference. Yep, well, it is what it is then. In that case, yeah, let's just begin and have Damon take care of this. Uh, Smokey, when you're finished that, maybe tidy the room. Yep, thank you. That is much appreciated. Uh, downs, labor, dilation, debilitating, pain plus 85%. Well, yep, sounds about right. We'll try and keep people out of there, except for when, you know, people pop in for a bit of blood feeding or something like that. Uh, oh, and production-wise, I want to find... Where can we put in those things? Where is it? Ah, growth vats. Four components, 150 steel. Oh, come on, seriously? We haven't mined out the steel yet? Yeah, we've definitely got 150 steel. I say we stick in a growth vat in here and cut out all of this stuff with people in there. It will be far less messy. Uh, down here, I can see cancel childbirth? Uh, what? End the childbirth immediately. Ritual obligation will remain. You can restart the ritual later. No! Ah! Uh, I don't think you can put it back in the can. Seriously. All right, just, uh, Damon, do what you gotta do, buddy. Once this is finished, we should have a kid. We shouldn't have to deal with making kids any more this way. In fact, our next kid is going straight into a growth vat, which takes nine days, which is like half the time anyway. Major break risk, Damon. Well, yeah, um, there's nothing we can really do about that. It should have grabbed you a snack before this started, shouldn't I? Sorry, buddy. Please don't go berserk in the middle of this. That would be very, very, very inconvenient. Oh, good man. Go grab a, a go grab yourself a meal. You can finish off Wade. What? No. Jesus. Prioritize feeding downs. Like, should someone pick up the baby? Uh, how about stalker? I'm gonna have to do some playing around here and finish out what figure out what's the plan. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I get it. We have to adopt it first. Oh. Ah, yes. You can change this. Oh, god damn it. Uh, carry way to newborn. No, no. Prioritize playing, prioritize feeding, prioritize cleaning. Uh, put Wade newborn somewhere safe. Oh, and we have to give them a name. One second. Well, I messed it up. I didn't realize how you could name these. So this is meant to be Timothy Cowger, but now they're just going to be called Cowger. So, yep. Oh, Cowger. Welcome to the team. 
Uh, you. Uh, put newborn somewhere safe. And then I would like you to prioritize feeding them. We have made ourselves some baby food already back here. We've got, like, baby food, it turns out it's pretty easy to make. You just come in here and you go, hey, cook us up some baby food. And then you set up a, how much of it you want. Do until you have X. Uh, yeah, let's make that 80 just in case. I didn't set it to 80, but oh, I presume they just dropped it on the ground. Well, perfect. That means we now have enough baby food to keep them fed. And that means the growth vat is up and running. Let's... Yeah, let's fertilize this egg. Now, this is going to be Chewbacca's job when they wake up, and then we'll stick it into the growth vat. I'm going to have to do up a spreadsheet now. Damn it, I'm just trying to remember. Where's the baby? Smokey's taking care of it. All right, so this kid is the offspring of Smokey, who is a, whatchamacallit, well, whatever the piggy ones are called, and a waster. So we've combined those two variants, but we can't combine Smokey with another waster. They've got to be combined with either, you know, a Neanderthal or a Chewy or, you know, one of the other gene pools. So they've got to go through, they've got to get two other kids by two different types of genetic whatever, donor. Uh, then we do the same for everyone else. Like, I mean, Chewy here can't ever breed with another Yatkin, otherwise it'll just be purebred. They ha we have to, like, get them two, three partners to go with. And one of them is going to be this Neanderthal, which we'll put in that pod. We might end up making more pods. We should be able to grow the population quite fast now that we've got access to those, assuming we can generate enough power, which will require us to have more components. We've got six components. I need to go on a component run. Yeah, we're going to sell off some of these dusters. Lunk, Lunk, why did you put the baby in the fridge? Wait, it, what? Why? Don't put babies in fridges. That's a bad, like, I know she's fresh. But it's meant to be fresh corpses, not babies. What the hell are you doing? Is there like something in here I'm missing involving baby? Like put put your babies here? So doing some looking, it turns out babies can't survive in temperatures above 30 C. So what you want to do is what the heck is going on there? Giggling. Okay, tired, slept in cold. Well, someone put you in the fridge, sorry. So what you want to do is make sure that the baby's room is below 30 C. So we stuck in a passive cooler. Which reminds me, I need to go kill some people. There's some things out in the world map that needs to die. Also, we need to do some trading. I think it might be time for Lunk to get his death rest on. Problem is, we haven't actually researched the death rest tech, so... I think we just start them about now. I don't want to have both of them out of commission at the same time, because Smokey's got to do it too. Start your death rest, buddy. Eh, how long does that actually take? Death resting. Consciousness 10% max. We can wake them up if we desperately need them, but... I suppose we'll find out. We'll see exactly how long this takes. It is now 21 hours on the 5th of April, May. Well, that's really bad. That's really, really bad. We've got a mech cluster show up. Uh, and it's, it's got an auto mortar. And that's really bad. Um, Lunk is currently doing death rest. We can wake them up, but they'll get quite a few negatives from it and they won't be like at their best. At the same time, uh, Smokey's in a caravan. They just just left. Uh, they can get back in zero days. Um, problem is that mortar is going to fire in 119 seconds, and we have children in the house, so we can't really move them. So we have three people who are capable of moving about, and one lunk who's a vampire, sanguifage or whatever, and this is three inferno cannons. Hmm, that is just. Not good. That is just gonna put that out there. That's not good. Three Inferno Cannons versus a Vampire seems like a bad thing. Right, uh, that leaves Damon, Chewbacca, and Stoker. Now, one thing I'm thinking of though is there's two Inferno Cannons right here. So this one kind of can't shoot here, this one can't shoot there. If we could get our three people there, having disabled that one first, if we can disable this, we've got cover, we can kill that, then these two can't shoot us. Assuming we get three people into this location here. Then, once we've dealt with that one, we can kill those two. Well, they'll be shooting at us, of course, but they should do minimal damage is the hope. And then we can take out the mortar. Then we'll have to, well, very, very carefully take out this thing. I think we can stand on the edge of the blast radius, maybe, put a pawn there. We'll worry about that if we can get to that point. The tricky bit is proximity activator. The moment we take one step inside that, those two, those Inferno Cannons are going to blast us. I need a plan. And a really, really good plan. And we need to get there really, really fast. Because we're about to start getting shelled. And there's nothing we can do about it. We don't even have mortar tech. This is a really awkward, 
awkward mechanoid thing. Like, I've never seen an auto mortar on a mechanoid thing this small before. Uh, I suppose we do have a lot of wealth. The problem with our wealth is though we, we sort of, we were sort of forced into this wealth based on a, a few problems. Namely, we couldn't hire people. Normally I'd have hired maybe up to 10, 15 people by now just from hiring sprees, but no. Oh, okay, plan, plan. We need one. Okay, so we've got Chewie and Stalker headed up there. We're about to wake Lunk. This is going to have some negative health consequences, I'm pretty sure. Okay, what's it do to their needs as well? Sick, yeah. Okay. Oh, what was that other one? Sad youngsters? Oh. What's wrong with the youngsters? Nothing wrong with them. They're fine. Oh, wait, they're hungry. And, and... We'll sort that out in a minute. Okay, you need to get into the fight. Uh, immediately draft up. We're going to need you over here, along with the rest of the crew. Uh, Damon's the only one who's not headed that direction just yet. We're waiting until they finish feeding that uh, the kid, feeding that prisoner. That's fine. Uh, then I want you over here. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah, everyone can't be on attack. I'm going to need you to ignore it. Don't want you, any of you guys starting a, a war just yet. Uh, yeah. So, I was looking at this. Here's what I figure. Right, we can use some of these as cover. Like, one of the things I initially wanted to do was hide behind, say, hide in between here. Like, if we put three people in there, those two Inferno Cannons can't shoot us. And all we have to worry about is that Inferno Cannon over there and the little mini slugger things. Problem with that is there's a mini slugger thing right there. Hmm. So we theoretically could kill the mini slugger thing. Oh, I really wish we had smoke grenades right now. If we had smoke grenades, we could really make this work a lot better. Actually, we do have a... Actually, do we have a smoke pack? I'm going to miss all the smoke packs because I'm an idiot. We do have an EMP launcher, but that hasn't enough of a blast radius. Um. Yeah, I think we need more options. I need to get my hands on regular grenades, EMP grenades, and a bunch of... You know what? Change the research now. I need a machining table. Death rest can wait. Machining table cannot. Grenades will sort us more than anything else. Hey, right, let's get the people over here. So, what's the plan then? Well, it's a bad one, but I think we're just about ready to attempt it. Uh, unfortunately, the mortar's going to get off a shot. I, I don't think there was any way around that one. I think we're in about optimum range there. You can hold on for a second. Now, what's your leap range? It's good. Hey, right, so, there's the three Inferno Cannons. They're the big scare in a lot of ways. They look big and scary, they can set your people on fire and cause them to run around the place. That's a huge problem. But, it's the mini sluggers that will kill you. Reason being, it's the auto inferno turrets don't do a lot of damage. They will burn you and they'll cause problems over the long period of time, but it takes them a long time to actually kill you, and it's the running around in flames that's the problem. So I think what we want to do is take out the mini sluggers. Plus, mini sluggers are explosive. Get them to pop, they'll hopefully do enough damage to weaken the turrets and we can kill them faster. So what I want to try and do is, well, hug the turrets on one side. So what I want to do is I want to get Damon right there, Stalker right there, Chewbacca right there. So the plan would be this turret can't fire at us, but we should have good access to hitting this mini slugger turret, this mini slugger turret, and that one. As well as that, the two behind this, I think they're fairly well insulated from these two firing at them. And then finally, this mini slugger turret over here, Lunk's coming in. Lunk's going to jump right in there, and that should allow them to, well, actually, if we jump right there, that might be a better plan. That would land us right on a tree. I think that gives us the protection we need. First, ooh, mortars fired. Now, yeah, you two. Uh, fire it, Will. Fire it, Will. Uh, you need to fire at that thing. You two, can you fire at that? Go for it. And Lunk, I'm going to get you to hold on one second. I want to see what the others... No, actually, Lunk should probably jump in now. kind of want the, the Inferno turrets to start firing before Lunk jumps in. Okay, on. Why are they not doing anything? Oh, someone's fired something. Lunk, stay at it. All right, they're firing at Lunk. So that's two shots at Lunk. Fine, by me. No, Lunk, I'm gonna get you to jump right there. Okay, perfect. Right. Immediately, damn it, you haven't landed. I need you to target that. Please don't go. They've got pyrophobia, so they could just have a mental break at any minute now. Uh, may have a mental breakdown when you're fires. Oh, just just hold it together for a tiny bit, buddy. That's all you gotta do. Ow! Chewbacca's already eaten a slugger turret. Damon has already lost their pinky. Wait. That's... Oh, God. Lunk, you are incredibly lucky right now. Kill that turret. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Ow! 
On the right side, you heard the two inferno turrets. That's that's good. Good good job, Lunk. Um Ouch, that hurt. How are you doing on health wise? Little toe's gone. Well, don't worry, it'll grow back. Uh you attack that at turn for no turret right now. How are these things not dead, guys? Oh. Well that thing's about to explode. That's bad. Pull back a little bit there if you wouldn't mind, guys. Explosion should help soften things up for you. Um Perfect. Another one bites the dust. You get that one. Um you two. Damn it, I can't target that from there. Fine, target that one. Oh, 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 that is amazing. You, get on that. Uh, you two. No, that's actually terrible. <laughs> you can go over there to get cover, and you can go over here to get cover. What? No, this is bad timing. That was... What? One second. Long story short, we sold off a bunch of junk. We got an insanity lance and 26 components. Uh, where were we? Oh, actually, no. Smokey, yeah, you, you can... Head home. All right, uh, where's everyone? God damn it, look, you are really moving a bit slow. Whoa, okay, that's done too. Uh, jump over there. Where did the mortar hit? Oh my God, it hit the prisoners. Uh, we kind of need those for blood donations. Damn it. Uh, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Wait, do we need I'm a hussy? Oh my God, what a name. I know, we didn't need them desperately. Both of those we've extracted, we, yeah. Dirk Mole and Neanderthal were the only ones we really needed and we've already used one of them. Okay, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Finish this out, finish this out. Uh, you, no, no, hit that. And you can kill that. Come on. Right, run. Run, um, shoot that. <sighs> Lunk, lost an ear, lost a toe. <laughs> lost your ear, yeah. W wakes up from his death nap, crushes three, four, three turrets and a mortar. It's like, oh man, I can't even get a night's rest. Where the hell is Smokey? They should be helping out with all of this. Oh yeah, uh, Lunk, you can... You're bleeding out in 12 hours. That's, um... Bad. Actually, could you do your coagulate on yourself? I don't think you can, can you? No, pity. Damon, how are you doing? Lost your pinky and you're bleeding out in 14 hours. Well, in that case, we'll uh, coagulate you. Chewbacca, how you doing? No immediate danger. Well, get back to work, buddy. And... Stalker... Hmm. Anything here worth getting? Actually, the steel. No empty con... What? Of course there is. I'll sort this out anyway. I keep expecting Lunk to just start running away from the fire, but they're like, surprisingly calm for a, a vamp. Okay. I hope that ear of yours goes back soon. Uh, actually, maybe we should get Chewy to give you a little bit of medical tend before you get back home. You seem to be losing a lot of blood. Uh, tend, Lunk. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. Turns out Lunk did flee the fire. Just now. I mean, they're, they're really far away from it, but they're still like, they had a little mental break. Uh, yeah, it doesn't last very long, but that would be really inconvenient if that had been in the middle of that fight. I need to start putting fire foam poppers on some of our people or something like that. Oh, well, I also get to need to get a bunch of other stuff. Actually, research-wise, yeah, machining in progress. That's the way it's going to be. Okay, then. Once Smokey get... Speak of lazy bones, where's Smokey? Oh, right by the fire. Don't have a mental break. Oh, assist event. How? We don't even have any batteries. Well, okay, it doesn't really cause any any real damage, but whatever. Oh, yeah, someone go feed the baby, would they? Yeah, the, the baby's a little bit hungry, so... Damon, how about you, you maybe do that? There you go. And now Lunk and Stalker have hooked up. Nothing like a, a close call with death. Oh, and Lunk's feeding a baby. Jesus Christ, Lunk. It's like you're trying to win some sort of competition. Eh, so Lunk and Stalker have now hooked up. We can reinstall that bed in Lunk's room, and... Yeah. That way they can hook them up without them actually having any kids that would mess things around. Uh, we managed to save most of the prisoners, though. The amount of blood we lost was ridiculous. Like, seriously, Lunk, Lunk, Lunk or Smokey should be in there just licking that off the ground right now. I'm going to have Lunk start their death rest again. They might as well. They've earned it. 
Uh, smoke is going to be due a death rest soon enough, what is it, in 2.4 days, so I'd prefer to have at least one of them up and around. Uh, as you can see, stuff can just suddenly spring on you when you're not expecting it, and not having one of our main heavy hitters around would have been very, very crippling. Damn it, our dirt mold person died. They got an infection from the mortar strike. Ah, what was it at? It was at 97, yeah, 97.8%. That is just awkward. We never got a chance to... Uh, get them to father a kid with us because they're only 15. They need to be 16 before they can have that they can fertilize an egg. So, ah, damn it, that's gonna mess things up. Now, well, let's hope the next people that attack us are actually humans and are something we can use for making our children. Right now, we've only got a second kid on the way. They should be done in six days. First kid's actually doing fine, no problem so far. It turns out all you have to do give them food, and occasionally an adult has to come along and play with them. And that keeps their play meter up. It's basically adults, as far as I can tell, is all that does it. So, the, like, this whole toy box and all that stuff, that seems to only kick in when they get to about three years of age. Same with the school desks. So until three, three years of age, all you do is you just feed them. Also, their age goes by 400% faster. Wait a minute. Uh, options. Ah, gameplay. Modify story settings. We've got a custom. Uh, losing is fun. And it's down here, adult aging rate is 100%, child aging rate is 400%. They age four times faster until they become adults. And then once they're adults, it slows down again. I think adults is classified as 14 or maybe it's 16, whatever. So, all we need to do now is wait until that kid hits about three and then we're going to have to start uh, using school desks and stuff like that and they can start becoming a productive member of the colony. I mean, maybe they'll look new as clean and carry at the start, but we'll, we'll get something out of them. Okay, I think it's time Smokey went death resting. Actually, wait. Let's let him continue on for a bit longer. I'd like to have Lunk up and about before I put another person into death rest. It just, uh, I really don't like having this overlapping. We're, we've only got five people and trying to keep the whole colony alive with five people is kind of tricky if two of them are not working. Oof, this isn't one of my favorite mission types. Uh, Imperial ship down. It's usually a cheap way to grab honor. Uh, who's needs just that little bit more honor to get them over the edge? I know Lunk's good, Smokey's good, that leaves... Yeah, I think four more points would put Damon just over the edge, so... Yeah, I'm thinking... Ooh, Shrike. You know what? No, don't want it. Uh, Damon, you're gonna grab that. Now, uh, where's it gonna crash? Where's it gonna crash? Please crash nearby. That is... Perfect. Uh, closest place the enemy can come from was over here, so... Yeah, we even got to some ancient shopping carts that will provide... 50% cover. Yep, yep, this place will be perfect. And they've got, oh, they got cataphracts. Oh, come on, seriously? You guys can kick the snot out of anything that shows up. Our, our main trouble will be avoiding shooting you guys. Ooh, I'd love to grab your, nope, nope. We're not gonna annoy the empire. We want some of their goodies first. All right, we'll just wait until the enemies show up. That will be in four hours. Got about four hours left, time to get everyone out. And raid from the whips. Okay, I've actually been a little bit late getting out there, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, oh, they are all close combat. Oh man, I would really like to have Lunk in on this. It's fine. Lunk will be grand. Okay, do we have any animals nearby? Uh, any animal? Okay, there's a rabbit. That's going to be... This is what I get for killing all the large animals around the place. All right, so looks like we're stuck doing what we're doing. Let's see if any of these are worth capturing. There is one Hazar. The all the rest Hazar. All the rest are just regular baseliners. Um, one. Try not to shoot our friends. Okay, we'll try some focus fire here. And that guy needs to go. Okay, then, like, I figure the more we focus them down, the better. Oof. That's right, you guys just soak it up with your armor, and we'll take as much experience as we can get out of this. Wow. We suck. Well, I suppose our weapons are pretty terrible as well. Uh, actually, get a tiny bit closer if you wouldn't mind, guys. Do, like, a slightly better line of attack on that guy. Wow. That cataphract armor is amazing. Uh, Stoker reached level 8. Pirates are fleeing. Well, let's not try and shoot through them. And I think that is the end of it. Done! Wait, there's one guy still standing. Wow, go juice? No, they're just that hardy. Alright then, 
So, problem solved. We got the honor. It was super quick. We can deconstruct the crash shuttle for parts. I love these quests. Yep, here's your ride. Get on and get out of here. Wow, the amount of conditions you have detending. We really need to get our hands on some cataphract at some point in the future, but that, that will have to wait. All right. And uh, maybe some of the hauler bots should get them out here and bring some of that stuff inside. I think we're putting some shelving here to tidy the place up. Yeah. Shelving makes things so much easier. And Damon's Yeoman Serenity is now available for when we want to grab it. Lunk is not quite finished their death rest. Uh, Smokey is almost out of their meter. They're down to 7.7%. I think after that they get exhaustion and it causes them problems. An exotics good trader has shown up and reminded me that I should probably put together one of those uh, comms consoles. That might be a plan. You know, just, just so that we can trade with people who aren't here. Um, yeah, one right there seems perfectly reasonable. I was going to save that for a science, be science bench, but hey, yeah, there will be fine. We can start getting our hands on a few things. Oh, and over here, I think I'm going to use this for storing basically steel and wood. We're going to store all our steel and wood here, and it should hopefully stop this whole place from looking filthy. Wow, those little lifter bots really make things so much faster. They've just cleaned up the place in no time at all. Oh, how's that kitty doing? 4.5 days. Come on, kitty. That's interesting. Another quest has become available. This is one of the bloodthirsty ones some vampires meet up. I'm not even going to try and kill these ones. We, we already have too many. We'll take the uh, the serum thing that allows us to do better death resting. That which reminds me, Lunk's almost woken up. I think we send Smokey and possibly Stalker? Or... No, Smokey and Damon. I think I have a field trip for the two of you two. Just out of the world map there, there is that uh, climate adjuster. It's giving us a plus 10 degrees, which is now starting to become inconvenient. So I'm going to send you two on a quick mission while we wait for... Well, Lunk will be up in 10 hours anyway. Oh, for the love of timing on a crutch. Ah, besiegers. They want to besiege us from a distance. Just as I'm sending out the... At least they didn't get off the map this time. Uh, uh Smokey, we are going to cancel the caravan forming. Yep. Yeah. That is unfortunate. The timing is not great. What gear you got on you? Nothing too much. We need to go over and take care of this siege, I think, immediately. Well, these guys aren't going to help, so we're going to have to do it ourselves. Lunk. Oh, what, Lunk? You can sleep. For a while, you can actually sleep. Actually, Chewy, do you feed the baby first? Can we wait on that? You know what? We can wait on feeding the baby. I feel bad about that slightly, but... Survival and all that being important, we should probably get moving. We're going to go straight up here, and what have you got? If it's all snipers, it might be a problem. No, we've got... the hell is that? Okay, flame retardant. Well, fine by me, buddy, but won't save you. I'm actually kind of hoping they drop... Like, we should let them drop their supplies first. Sangophages arrive. Oh, God. Your timing is... Actually, I don't care if you die or not. It's a death rest serum. We can buy those, so if you get into a fight with these guys, not really that big of a deal, to be honest. Oh, excellent. And you've brought me components, a mortar barrel, a bunch of shells. Yeah? Uh, Damon's a little bit early, and he's getting some shots off. You know what? Go for it, Damon. The rest of the team will be here shortly. And the vampire guy is... Uh, incapable of firefighting. Yeah, ugly, pretty, fast walker, has a heavy SMG. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Well, they do have a shield pop, unfortunately. And uh, let's go get a better angle on this crowd. Well, that's their only shield pop, so... Yeah, over here is fine by me. Guys, don't, don't shoot the shield pop. Uh, that guy. Well, that didn't work either. Seriously? Oh, that's so inconvenient. Okay, 21 seconds on that. I think we find a better angle, maybe? Uh, you know what? We will stay right here. It's probably a better idea. Yeah, the, one of them, that guy there is the only one with a long-range weapon. If we check on all of these guys, like, their longest weapon range is to here. So we just stay here. We can just keep taking pot shots at them. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure that's the guy who's trying to build the mortar. And uh, they've just got to get that steel over and they're done, so... Come on. Ah! Nice. Uh, anyone else left alive? Yeah, too many. Alright. We'll take out that guy while we're here. 
or not. Yeah, this seems fairly handy. If they'd attack it, it'd be really nice because we do have some people back at our base who'd be more than happy to help us out. Okay, they're now assaulting the colony. Well, isn't that wonderful? And they left us oh, 14 components. You guys are too nice. 130 steel. Three reinforced barrels? You guys are my new bestest friends. Well, after I'm finished killing you. All right, uh, you. You are going to bleed out in nine hours. We don't really care about you, do we? You're a baseliner. I mean, we could sell him off. So maybe stick him in, sto in cold storage until later. But for now... Hmm. How do we deal with these guys attacking us? There is... Six of them. Uh, their weapons look pretty terrible, and we actually have a decent position. Hmm. Now we'll fall back a little bit. Just for now, anyway, I want to see which direction they're taking before I decide to commit to these guys. Okay, that's actually pretty good. They're spread out nicely, easy enough to gun down. We should be able to take out two or three of them, three more of them before this becomes problematic. Uh. Oh you back I get forward okay maybe run away some more in fact yeah we don't need to be out here at all run out stalker got hit but we don't really care too much I say we run back to base there's still the uh, the troops back there when you watch them call them exotic goods traders so we head back to the exotic goods traders once they're finished lunch they go outside and kill them seems like a good plan to me and it's always nice to introduce people to new friends. Yay. And that should be that. Okay, pirates are fleeing. Well, yeah, let's see how that fleeing goes for them. No, nope, they're downed. Eh, yeah, perfect. That means we can untag all of this gear to get it looted. Oh, it's just so tasty. It's the components that I'm really happy with. But you know what? I'll take the lot. Also, survival meals. You can never go wrong with survival meals. Ah, beautiful. All right, everyone back to work. Uh, get some medicine on and uh, maybe someone go feed the kid before they starve a little bit. And Lunk got to sleep in. They've got five hours left until their death rest expires. And Smokey is actually... Eh, they still got 5.5%. Yeah, this worked out. We have sent Damon and Lunk onto the world map. They're going to head over to... This thingy, the climate adjuster. It's going to take them 0.5 of a day. They're going to knock that out, and then the temperatures are going to drop. Temperature outside at the moment is about 36. It's a little bit toasty. And inside with the babies, it's 19 because we put in a little bit of a passive cooler. But yeah, the baby can't leave there without getting a little bit sweaty. But uh, it'll be fine for now, but I would like to take care of that problem. Also, shelves. They're just amazing. The more I use them, the more I realize I should be using them more. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, build a few copies over here. Yep. Three more shelves right there. We can clean this place up in no time. Hell, the rooms are looking very impressive because there's not a bunch of stuff all over the floor. Except for the rock chunks, but I, I can take care of those later. We have arrived at the climate adjuster. What time is it? Midnight. Excellent. Lunk thrives in the darkness. Okay. We've got... Oh, do we have guns? Turrets. No gun turrets? Radio. They have a camel hide hood hanging out in the doorway. A guy called Stin with a mace. And Lopez with an axe. Right, we stay at a distance, we do the shooting from a distance, and then as, well, as they charge us, we, uh, we let Lunk do the smashing. Lunk should be able to make quite a mess of them. Hey, Damon, how are you looking there? Get a little bit closer, maybe? Damn it! Come back here and get shot. Or, I could actually just trigger them by shooting the walls, because now that would probably be the smarter thing. Come on out, boys. Yep, there we go. Just remember the easiest ways are best. Okay, this guy over here looks like he's got a bit of sprint to him. One condition he's telling you're 3.41, 3.27. Lunk, you have the stun ability. Well. Wow, that was terrible shooting, Damon. Oh, good shot. And there's a stun. And there's a smack or two. Problem solved. In fact, they're still alive, bleeding out in four hours, missing... Ooh. Should we keep them as a prisoner? We haven't done some sales in a while, and Damon is a good medic. You know what? Tandrit medicine. Lunk, you go in and raid the place, and we'll smash up anything that we don't... Well, ooh, components. Well, we found the weather controller. You can go take care of that, buddy. Is it flammable? If it's flammable, we can just breathe on it. No, not flammable. You can shoot it for a while. In the meantime, Lunk is going to dismantle some of the stuff around here. 
couple of components to bring home with this can't hurt and maybe a little bit of steel as well whatever we can carry with us once this goes down temperature everywhere should drop oh perfect climate adjustment well done dusted let's take all this junk and get out of here this was not the worst i was really expecting that to be a little bit more annoying Smokey has finally run out of well death rested percentage thingy they've, they've bottomed out this is really bad Consciousness maximus, ah, consciousness max 50%, psychic sensitivity minus 100%. They basically become very, very useless. So, uh, time for you to start your death rest, buddy. Sorry about that. I just had to see what happens when someone goes far enough down the line. That is pretty horrifyingly bad. You're better off taking, like, doing the sleep and then just waking them up because at least then they're still semi-functional. Uh, they will slowly build that back up again. According to this, it's going to take them four full days to rest all the way back up. That's not actually that terrible. Four days every so often. I think the reason it's included is sort of a, a balance for all these uh, these vampire abilities. You'll notice that death rest here is, where is it? Plus six, is it? Plus six. There we go. They get plus six stats from using it. Uh, other ones like archite metabolism. That gives them, what was it, plus six complexity as well? Or is it? Plus one complexity, six, plus six metabolic efficiency, plus six metabolic efficiency. Don't know exactly what that's all about, but I do need to start playing around with that later on. Once we get, start getting into the gene sampling, we're going to start ripping genes out of vampires and using them. Uh, solar flare. Normally I'm not too bothered about these, but what's bothering me this time is we have a growth vat. That's it's causing bio-starvation to a kid. Solar flares usually last a, a, plus 50% a day? Well, that's not good. The kids were due to be born in 1.8 days. Oh, well, this makes solar flares much, much nastier, and the timing of them much, much worse. Oh! All right, all right, let's see how this rolls. Solar flare has ended, and we're at 15% bio-starvation. Okay, but it'll go down by 10% a day. We got 1.6 days left. Okay, the bio-starvation should... should... I don't know what'll happen if your, your baby is bio-starved when they're born. Maybe... Oh. We'll worry about that when the time comes. Let's just... Hey! Why has no one been feeding the baby? God damn it, guys. No. You know what? Lunk, get in there. I want you to feed the kids straight away. From what I can see, you don't need the baby food. We're just feeding them straight milk all the time. Um... I think we got those cows. Otherwise, we would have had to use... Well, there is breastfeeding from Downs, but uh, I don't think it really works if they're a prisoner. I would have had to at least make them a slave, and somehow I feel that is worse. Uh, so... No, we're just going to use regular milk. Um, did you even feed that kid? It feels like you just like ha- eh, Okay, you fed him a little bit. Alright, I am. I am super duper way over time again, but I just- Oh, we're sort of stuck in this weird labor trap at the moment where we're, we're trying to claw our way out of it. The problem is we need more pawns to help take up the slack. The problem is, well, they're babies right now and they're not really very productive. Might be a ways around that, but for now, let's just cover. Chewy here pretty much spends their full life cooking. That's that's their life right now. They just spend all of it cooking. And the, the fact that they have that uh, sleepy gene that makes them uh, their sleep good, like they need to sleep an awful lot more than everyone else, which really cuts down on their productivity. Also, they end up having to occasionally feed these pawns over here and get involved in, uh, where is it? Chewy needs to get involved in medical stuff occasionally. We, we're turning some of them into hemogen farms over here. You just select it here. And then when they have full blood packs, Basically, someone comes along and operates on them. It's usually Chewy or one of the others. I believe it's Damon is our other medic. So they pop over and extract the blood packs. Lunk spends most of the time on plants. We have we have a lot of farming stuff going on. And even with uh, Wild Hunt 011 doing a, a bunch of the farming with them, it, it's still pretty much a full-time job. And any construction is basically, yeah, their forte as well. So they're doing construction plants and a little bit of animals, but not really that much. In fact, a lot of the animals goes down to Chewy as well, which really eats into the amount of time they should be cooking. Then we got Damon over here who spends pretty much all their time researching. That's their, their dedicated job, except for the occasional time to get uh, called out to do a, a blood bag extraction. Stalker over here actually is pretty varied. They spend a lot of time doing construction, mining if it comes up, then they've got uh, plants to help it on the side, and crafting too. So they're pretty much flat out doing everything and anything. And Smokey over here spends, well, most of their time cleaning. That's kind of their, their main job is to do most of the cleaning. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, Cowgirl? Cowgirl is your kid, so Cowgirl can go there. I want to put the kids beside their parents so we can keep track of them. Oh, are they already pink? Huh, that's nice. Uh, this next kid is about to be born, though, and there's something I knew I'd like to try with them. All right, kid is born. Now, the thing is, from what I've been able to determine, these kids, when they're born, from the ages of zero to three years of age, you just sort of, you, you have to have wooden toy boxes for them and stuff like that to keep them happy, and that kind of keeps up the mood of the parents. And uh, one of our parents is currently, you know, asleep. Uh, wait, wait, missing Prime Chancellor? Are you kidding me? 
Oh, wow. Because they're death resting, we technically don't have a religious leader right now. That is awkward. Anyway, Maolo here is actually the kid of Chewbacca, and they need themselves some new names. Please welcome Cadiz to the team. Or to the family, I suppose. Uh, now, since their parent was che che Chewbacca, they're going to have a last name of Chewie. So they're Cadiz Chewie. Um, and yeah, I've moved them over there so they can be beside Chewbacca. We'll have to do a tiny bit of gene editing later on to change them over to be the same color. I want to make sure everyone's the same color as their parents. Just, you know, we've color coded the families. It should be the way it is. And now Katie's here should be taking a nap right now. Should you be sleeping? Seriously? Take a nap, kitty. I want you to go to sleep so that your, uh, your sleep meter starts going up. How do you force them to sleep, I wonder? Never mind. We'll see in a second. Ooh, machining finished. That is excellent. We can finally make flak armor and grenades and a bunch of other stuff. But before we go any further down there, I think I'm going to do a quick backpedal into drug production. If we can get some psychite refining up, we can get in some money, and I think money will solve our component problems. I was going to try and hold out until we've got our hands on, where is it, all the way down here, like fabrication, and we would need deep drills and ground penetrating scanners. That's just too much research. I figure it's just better off to make drugs grow some plants, and then sell off the drugs for more components. It would be faster and more efficient. I'm thinking too much like this is the ice sheet. Anyway, Katie's here is currently quite happy. So what I am going to do is I am going to take Katie's and we're going to put them in here. Yep. Uh, growing? Yes, prioritize growing them. Now, this may seem crazy. You see, the thing is, kids, you're, they say you're supposed to grow the... If you grow the kids naturally, they will have uh, much better stats and learning potential and all sorts of stuff. And yes, that is true. And I could be wrong on this, but from what I can tell, that only counts from the age of three and up. Up until the age of three, they basically just lie down, do nothing, and all you can do is really keep them happy and stop them from crying, or maybe get a, a mild happiness bonus. So I'm going to throw them into a growth vat. Now what that does is a little interesting. Where is it? Uh, vat growing. It basically increases their aging speed by 20. Now, that's not actually quite true. It only increases it by five. See down here, if we go to... Hey, hey give me the baby. No, damn it, wrong one. This baby is two quadrums and nine days old but realistically they're only they've only been in the game for nine nine days as in according to this calendar kids grow four times faster uh so kids grow four times faster until it hits 16 i think it is or something like that don't don't quote me on that though uh so this baby in here is going to go 20 times faster instead of four times faster which is just five times faster than normal and what we're going to do is grow them in the vat until they hit three once they hit three they can start learning at that point at which point we pop them out and you know we put them into normal learning stuff would be the theory so katie's might work, might not. We're going to let Cowgirl grow the normal way. Cowgirl is just going to grow the normal way and we're going to compare the two and see if there's any difference between them. Because if we can avoid all of this baby feeding stuff and instead just have to put some nutrition into a growth vat, it really cuts out an awful lot of hassle, you know what I mean? And it's technically... Okay, it's, it's, it's only like a mile... Compared to all the other crimes we've committed so far, throwing some babies in vats seems pretty mild, if you ask me. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck. Mm -hmm.